All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Green Bitch Terror with the two V's. Um, <laughs> and today's video is going to be a little different than what I normally do. Usually I am reading with my lovely tarot cards. Um, but if you follow me, you probably noticed that I haven't been posting lately. Um, I posted one video, but um, I'll, I'll explain that a little bit later. Um, <laughs> so the reason why I haven't been posting, um, and I feel like a lot of people who read tarot cards, um, they don't really talk about this because it's, it's something that it really does affect you and it really does affect your readings. Um, especially if you're doing them every day, like readings can take a lot of energy and you have to have good, like, I, well, how I like to say it, I like to, to have good, stable, even almost blank state of mind energy and um I didn't have that energy for 11 days I did not have that energy because I was talking to a person who I would say is like a textbook case narcissist it was always about him um I gave all of my energy to him I tried to always make him happy I was always trying to not upset him and as much as I liked him, like, I really did like him a lot. Like, I could see myself being with him for that brief amount of time. But I also noticed different things in my life. Like, I was not doing my readings every day like I used to. Like, I used to film every day. Um, and I was not getting the same energies when I would pull cards and I, I I wasn't in that blank, clear mind state that I usually like to be in. And when I, you know, when I would, I would film, I filmed like two readings that I literally deleted because I just was not feeling the energy. The cards weren't making sense. Messages weren't coming to me and I could not figure it out for the life of me. But then I realized it was this person that I was giving all of that energy that I used to put into my readings, I was giving it to this person. And it was so toxic to my mind and to my soul because I was in just such a negative headspace trying to please this person, trying to make it work, even though there was all of these red flags screaming at me. But I, I, I didn't see it and it wasn't until literally yesterday it hit me in the face that this person wasn't letting me live to my full potential. They weren't letting me feel fulfilled like I always feeling fulfilled in previous relationships. And my readings, like it's, it's not all about my readings. It definitely is not all about my readings, but when somebody affects you, so badly so toxically like that it, it it says something it really really does and it really does affect you in a way and I'm sorry that I'm getting like teary-eyed um, but I like literally I, I remember the the reading that I did um, that I ended up posting that made somewhat sense to me because I got it briefly just briefly into that mind state um to do a reading that I could post the messages everything just felt like it was speaking towards me now that I look back and I watch that video I'm like oh my gosh like literally my cards are like <laughs> yelling at me like you need to get rid of this person and I just you know I didn't see it but then like, I remember one of the cards was, you know, see the signs, look at the signs. It's the messenger oracles, this, there's a card in here that says, look at the signs. And the signs were all there. They were they were all screaming at me in my face. And um, it wasn't until, like, I was, I was really, like, looking up the, the definition of a narcissist on the internet. And I f kid you not, I came across an article by one of my most powerful cards uh, by Judy... Orloff, MD. It was by her. And these are the Power of Surrender cards. And they are my most powerful cards because letting go really does transform your life. 
and it was talking about how you literally like with a narcissist you're literally surrendering yourself to this person and when I saw that sign I knew I knew off the bat like I needed to get out and it was very hard for me because I did not want to leave this person because they did make me happy in some ways but in other ways they were just literally sucking the life out of me and I finally got confirmation like I, I sometimes I do little personal readings for myself just to see you know where I am in life and it was after I finally cut this person out I got confirmation I, I never pulled the five of cups this time I did it was the first card I pulled I'm like oh my god so um, I'm sorry so I'm not sure where I'm gonna go back to posting videos um, I'm trying to regain that energy back that I gave away to this person that I Sorry, it's, it's hard because every part of me wants to reach out back to this person say, you know, I'm sorry, like, take me back, blah, 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 et cetera. Um, but I know I can't. I can't for my well-being. Like, it, it means something when even your own cards, your own readings are screaming out to you. Like, so people don't understand sometimes when readers do their readings... It may be a general reading, but it could be generally, like, trying to speak to you, trying to speak to themselves. And I can't tell you how many times I've had people personally from my life pop out into my readings. I've had my best friend's recently passed father pop out in my readings. And it is such a... Terror reading is such a strong and powerful thing, like, it's hard to wrap your mind around how just a simple little cardboard piece of paper can have so much power behind it, but I kid you not, it does. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to shed some light. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry for her tears. I just wanted to shed some light on what I've been going through lately. And I know I just started this journey doing readings on YouTube. Um, but it's a learning lesson. There's always lessons to learn. And I feel felt very strongly that I need to share this story. Because I feel like there's other tarot readers in this community that can relate to this story. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys have a beautiful, wonderful night, morning, day, whatever. Um, I love you all. Okay, bye. <laughs> Alright, this is a little post message. Um, I just really wanted to shout out and give a huge heartwarming thank you to Arcadian Stellar Lisa. She has truly been one of my very good friends and she really encouraged me you know, to, to come out with the story because, you know, I mentioned to her, I'm not sure if I'm going to and she's like you know do it because you know there's a lot of people I'm sure that can relate especially in the, the card reading community so again thank you follow her on Instagram on YouTube like she's amazing I love you to death Lisa and um, I literally just got a notification saying that you tagged me in a post on Instagram I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it <laughs> and um, yeah just thank you so much and please do go follow her she's amazing again i'm probably i probably said that like 50 times but she really is and her readings are always spot on with me yeah okay love you bye